morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today, I'm going to be teaching you everything that I know about Demonology Warlock, how to play it from basic rotation to the more intricate things like putting a campfire down to <laughs> increase your spirit by four because, yes, it actually does affect your DPS and matters a little bit. This video is coming after someone uh, requested it on one of my other videos if I could show them how to play Demonology Warlock. And I figured, you know, I have played it for enough time to sort of have a advanced grasp of how the class works and figured I would take the time to share that with you guys. But before we get into the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Everything you guys do helps my channel get out there, helps my channel grow, and helps me help as many people as I possibly can. And that is the entire point of my channel. So anyway guys, let's get to it. So the first thing about Demonology Warlock is going to be that there are three ways to play this class. There is a pure support way, there is a pure uh, balanced way, and then there is a pure DPS way. And so those three differences is really your stat prios, where you put them, and how it's allocated, and what the differences is. So pure support is going to be sacrificing everything in the name of spirit and crit gear so like these pants are usually a pure support pants because they have uh, a lot of spirit now where it difference differs between a balance build and the pure support build is going to be uh your hit rating so a balance build Get, still stacks a ton of spirit so you can get a very high demonic uh, pact buff which is what we're going to talk about in a moment um, whereas the balance one gives you uh, you go for hit rating so you are hit capped in your uh, gear as well as your spec so the spec that I'm running this is it I will scroll a little slow so you guys can see where I put my points in but it deviates here in demonic tactics and improved demonic tactics for the 3% hit chance in affliction. Um, you need about 290 hit rating, I think. Um, I'm over by one, but I can't really do much about that with my current gear. Um, to be hit capped with a boomkin and with this suppression talent. Um, it is worth it, I think, because while the balance build is, is i think is the best build because when you go personal dps your demonic pact um does not allow you to um hit the highest dps for the raid while you will do more damage you will not do more damage than the dps that the entire raid generates from your uh spell power buff all right now i think the highest that i've hit my demonic pact buff is about like 550 and that is because of my gear and being very um spirit oriented um here's demonic pact um it increases your spell damage by 10 percent and your pets um critical applied demonic pact the demonic pact effect to our party and raid members demonic pact increases spell power by 10 percent of your spell damage for 45 seconds and this effect has a five second cooldown it does not work with subjugated demons so it only works with your pet your fell guard is your best pet as demonology um and so what you want to sort of do is see how much spell power you can get just by doing your intro rotation so that brings me to this so right here i have very limited things i have some weak auras this weak aura is the biggest one warlocks procs and buffs it is modified um and i would definitely put this in the comment below but i'm not sure how to necessarily share the one that i use specifically but there are tons of weak auras out there find the ones that work for you the other one i like to use is hellstone raid usage counter show it's just a little counter that shows me how many people are using it so when that number is high i can sort of drop a soul well and then warlock life tap reminder when i run out of mana it'll make a noise and tell me to life tap so those are just the three things this one is definitely the most important because there is so much you have to track that is what you see right here so what you're going to want to do is get a well food buff which you're going to want all spell power you can use firecracker or salmon or you can use fish feasts if your raid group is dropping those they definitely help a lot so we got that buff down then we're going to drink a flask of the frost worm we're going to make sure our fell armor is up and then we are going to use a grand firestone 
um, for demonology. This gives you uh, increases your damage dealt by your spells and increases your crit rating by 196. So those are the basic buffs. Now, if you're really min-maxing, you can use your tailoring buffs. These are haste by 20%, health regen and mana regen, and your critical strike rating. These are made by doing your ebb and weave, moon shroud, and spell weave. Um, they last for 30 minutes, um, and at, to my knowledge, they do not get removed in raid, as well as engineering. Now, if you're going for personal DPS, you won't use the 28 spell power in your gloves, and instead you'll go for your um, hyperspeed accelerator which increases your haste by a ton for the gloves um, i'm going with spell power just because i want to give people the highest amount and nitro boots are really helpful they give you 24 crit and they let you uh run very quickly so engineering and tailoring are the professions that i would recommend as a demonology warlock so now let's get into rotation now that we are fully buffed um, another thing to mint uh, mention is your life tap when you have um, your four set we it gives 300 more spirit and the glyph of life tap is going to be a must because um, you gain 20% of your spirit as spell power for 40 seconds um, I also use glyph of quick decay and glyph of the fell guard I think these are the best then minor glyphs don't really matter but it's drain soul soul and unending breath they're just nice to have so anyway, we have our entire setup here. So the very first thing that you are going to do in a raid encounter is you are going to life tap at about one second to pull time. We'll even do a DBM pull timer just for you guys here. We'll set it to 10 seconds. So this is what we're going to be using. Um, and this is what I do every raid so we're going Three, to life two, tap here we are one. going to pre-pot we are going to then cast a shadow bolt first we are now going to metamorphosize put emulation use doom emulate corruption and now we are going to look at all these uh procs and stuff since everything is proc now we're really looking for our demonic pact buff to be proc and there we go it just proc Unfortunately, it took a little bit, but we have a 422 spell power buff. And then what you want to do is just cast Shadow Bolt and maintain your dots. So we try to clip your dots towards the end of your metamorphosis because you want to make sure that they clip for the highest amount. And now you're just on rinse and repeat here. So you're going to be casting Shadow Bolt. You life tap when you need to. And then make sure none of your dots fall off and try to manage them. So when your dots are at about two seconds left, that is when you're going to pocket. Anytime you get your decimation, you're going to be incinerating. Um, just until it is at 35%. Once the boss is at 35%, you are going to then... Um, look to only cast soul fire and you actually are going to maintain your dots definitely try to make sure that you keep all your dots rotating constantly it's very bad for you to sort of go um it's very bad for you to man mismanage your dots i'm not doing the best job right here in this example because i am sort of um showing you guys as well as if you are an engineer you can also throw your serenite bombs but that is pretty much the um general rotation now i have it macroed into my shadow bolt and my seat of corruption to make my pet attack um but that's the general rotation for you guys it's life tap and pre while uh use potion of wild magic then you're going to cast first shadow bolt as you are running in you can put on corruption and curse of doom and then emulation aura that's usually what i do um definitely keep in mind some bosses it is not worth to be up close to use your emulation aura two bosses right now that i would say not worth doing is grand little feralina because she will uh, silence you and it's just not simply worth it and then another one is going to be hygen the unclean because you have to dance um and if you touch him he gives you a very lethal disease so being close to him is pretty risky um, I would not recommend going in for the emulation aura on those bosses. But guys, that is sort of it for Demonology Warlock. That's the rotation. That's everything I do. Um, as I to show you guys an example, so look at my spell power here. It's two seven forty two. 
we life tap and just life tap it goes to 3073 now i'm going to show you what it is with the uh fire down just so you guys have an idea of how much it actually does matter so now that we have our four spirit buff that increased our spell power there and okay that our sundial procs so we're gonna remove that but there you go it's 3076 so just putting down your campfire actually does increase your spell power and it can actually lead to some pretty uh good uh difference so as you saw it's just two spell power nothing too crazy but you know it's every little thing every min maxer everything just gives you a little bit extra damage so that's pretty much it for the video guys i really hope you enjoyed this i hope it helps you play demonology warlock if you have any questions anything like that i'm definitely happy to help answer them the best i can i'll be honest with you i'm not the best demonology warlock in the world but hopefully i can sort of i know the steps and hopefully i explained it really well for you guys to sort of understand and i hope it helps you a lot so anyway guys i'll see you next time Bye bye if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day, and that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.